Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. Today, I'm gonna be doing what I usually do around this time of year, which is looking at what's to come for the future of Fago. So if you don't know this, in NA, um, I can't predict the JP side because nobody knows what's ever coming on JP side unless they somehow get dead in mines. But on the NA version of the game, we are two years behind, so we can actually plan ahead, see what's coming, make plans, uh, start saving accordingly and do all that fun stuff so yeah today's video is going to be me looking through what basically are the next 12 months of a go and what they have in store and maybe give some advice about hey what you should be summoning for if you're looking for really good stuff or maybe there's an inst a unit here that interests you it's good to kind of block it out if you're in a two-year delay you may as well take advantage of it right so that's gonna be today's video i hope you like it if you do Feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me what your plans for this year are. It always helps the channel a whole bunch. I thank you very much, and you guys are always very good whenever it comes to Fago stuff, so I thank you for that. Now, let's get into the video, huh? Okay, so, first things first is obviously the New Year campaign, which I'll get more into when it actually is here. But this has the GSSR, and this also has uh, Yang, I believe, for the summon campaign. Yeah. Yang not used a whole bunch from what I've noticed, but she kind of gets a little bit more use recently. I think, anyway. Anyway, the New Year's event is a rerun of Benny Enma. Hello. The burp. I, and also of Old Man Lee over here. I actually already, I don't think I'm going to be summoning any more on this, just because I already tried for burp, I tried for Old Man, and I just have too many of the craft essences to actually keep on going, so... Just gonna ignore that. I don't think we're gonna be getting the campaign for Winterfest because we don't have Winterfest. Yeah, we're not gonna get this. So it'll be interesting to see what they fill it up with. We might get a questionnaire, but I actually don't remember if we ever got a questionnaire last year. Let me see. A whole lot happens in a year, man. Especially a year, a crazy year like this. Let's look back to January, huh? Survey, so I totally expect a survey to be coming up then. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, next we have the absolute, this one we already have, so we're not getting this. And then it's the Amazon CEO Crisis 2020. I actually don't remember who's on the banner for this one. Really, it's Naito, uh, Hime, and Penth. Weird banner, but okay. I already have two out of three of these units, so I chances are I won't be summoning. But still, very weird. It does also come with the Amazon as CEO outfit here. So actually kind of a slow month, unless you super care about Yang on January. Which is nice. Slow months are pretty nice, I'd say. Uh, Winterfest continues. I don't think we're going to be getting that. Interlude campaign. I don't... Yeah, this is definitely would be happening next. Valentine's Day 2020, which I believe has Sai in it. I believe no, Shikabu is the name of the other one. What is her name? How do you pronounce her name is better? Yeah, it is Sai. Sai Shogunagan. No? Sai Shonagan. Shonaga? I'm just gonna go with Sai. <laughs> Sai, who's Archer, I'm gonna be summoning a little bit on this, I think. Oh man, if only. I never summon on dual quet spanners because it's, it's bad for my health. Um. But it, if I were ever tempted, I would definitely give it a shot. I wouldn't mind losing the 50-50 on this. I don't think I really need her, because I think she is, what, a quick single target? Poetry, he's on down against any servants. Ooh, it's actually AoE. Hmm. This makes me more interested in her. I think I'm, I'll see how many multis. I think that's at least maybe three multis maybe for her. I could see that. The 19 million downloads campaign, is this the important one? Is this the super big one? It is not the super big one. It's the one after this one. But it is this uh, summon show cancer you can at least get out of Chicago. Erdish. Uh, inside here, so that's pretty nice, especially if you're a big fan of hers. So yeah, I think February outside of Sai, and actually Sai and Erdish for a lot of people are pretty important, but for me personally, it's kind of like a, okay, I definitely would like her. I think I might be going for Lancer GSSR, so I have to hope to get her there, but I'm still thinking about it. Next we have March. Uh, this is where we get 
oh, this is the release of the uh, Chaldea Boys, and this is also the release of um, Odysseus. I think this is the the boy. This is the first time the boys ever get their own event dedicated to the return day. So this is where you'll actually get Odysseus and stuff, uh, which is cool. Some people seem to really like Odysseus as a design. I don't, which is a shame because I actually really like the character Odidi Od Odysseus. Odysseus. That's a completely different character. The Atlantis Clear Aid campaign. Just trying to see if the big chonky boy is going to return, but he is not. Apocrypha. I actually don't remember if anyone comes back in Apocrypha for summoning wise. Yeah, no, this is a weird banner to summon on. And I still think it's a weird banner to summon on. So yeah, and I don't think much going on in March for me, personally. Again, I'm kind of someone who likes the idea of Odysseus, but not actually how he was designed. Alright, let's go Ap April. Here's the big one. 20 million download campaign. This is where we get the free SSR ticket. This is, if you want to know which download celebration it's going to be for North America, I don't actually recall it in my head right now. I have to actually go back and see. But it should be two next. So let me see. What do we call our current download number? I think it should be somewhere around here. There it is. We're currently on 15 million, so it'd be the 17 million. This is where we get the free SSR ticket, and this is the free SSRs that you can get it. I think you need to get them to Bond 5 and at least First Ascension to keep them by the end of the year, I believe is how it goes. Yeah, you have probably had a copy as long as the time which is gonna immediately become permanent. Uh, I forget how long, it doesn't say how much it's temporary. Time limit to become permanent, you got until June 30th. That's plenty of time. Uh, let's see. So yeah, plenty of stuff to get here for free. I think I'm going to end up getting Tamawa with this free ticket. I think that's currently what my my brain is saying in case things go bad with Historia. I still have it back up. Um, Art's servant to do me good. But yeah, that's the important uh, million downloads. That's the one basically everyone's been waiting for <laughs> since it was announced on JP. And then we get another one I think a year later, if I remember correctly. But yeah, okay, so let's see what else here is uh, here for April. This is a big one. This is huge. Uh, Romulus Cornus, this guy is amazing. Well, this person is amazing. Gender unknown, that's why I said it. This person is amazing. So, really, really good <laughs> for reasons that will become apparent when you read the story. But just know that they are fantastic and I think they're the first big unit of this year actually yeah I think they are the first like huge unit of the year so definitely worth going and saving for I think I'm gonna have some multi saved up thankfully it looks like it's actually pretty sleeper for a while so I think I'll have a lot a decent amount saved up for him probably won't go too crazy because he's I think buster focused at the moment yeah he's buster focused and that won't come into play for me personally for another year but still nice to have, for sure, for some fun combos. Next May, and again, he is really good. Gudu Gudu, the final Noji rerun. Uh, don't think I'm going to be getting anything here, except for, oh, actually, there is something important to get here. It is the... <laughs> where is he? I think this is where they introduce... Event bonus, there he is. He should be somewhere here. Is this not where they introduce... I thought this is where they introduce Nobukatsu. But I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. Maybe I'm maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's the next one. Let me see. But anyway, next is the Freight Requiem uh, collab, which is the collab with the series not a lot of people know, where you get Utsume Eris, and I think for some campaign it's the Dino Wife and Voyager. To Voyager is really good, and Dino Wife is a dinosaur who's also a woman, so. Definitely going to be throwing some summons for here. Look at that. Dino wife. Let's go. Who doesn't want that? So I'm going to think I'm going to do some here. June, man. If, if I tell you right now, can you tell when some stuff started going bad? No, it wasn't. 2020, the bad stuff didn't happen until later on. But yeah, this is a rough, this is a rough time. This is when Bogo was going through a lot of troubles, I think. When they were trying to start up with that other game. And that other game was failing hardcore. That's a whole different can of worms, but if you ever wonder, like, damn, why the fuck is there only, like, two fucking things in June? The answer is, 
Fago was going through some bad stuff around this time behind the scenes, so... Can't wait to get that in North America, two years to late. 1800 day anniversary, hunting quests... Swimsuit only, AoE, NP only, and uh, summon gate uh, campaign. This is really good. It's funny how it says summer campaign and there's some units here who are clearly not summer, but whatever. Um, I actually am missing Nero. I would really like Nero and I would actually like Jean as well. But I think I'm going to end up saving for reasons that will become clear pretty soon. Seraph, the main interlude release campaign. I think this is where they just release stuff for everyone to play. Yeah, this is the one where you can pay it and then you can basically play the CCC event anytime you want. I think there's a summoning campaign that has Melt and Passion Lip and King Protea and Suzaku Gozen. Correct. And then also this is the same time that Kama returns. Actually, this is a pretty... Kama returning, I was able to get Kama so I don't have to worry about getting another copy of Kama, but for people who love Kama, this is your best chance of getting Kama again, so keep that in mind for July. So, so far the big units for January have been Yang at the 1st of January at the start of February. It's basically Sai with uh, Erish. On March, it is no one. <laughs> it is Odysseus. I'll be fair to Odysseus because he's a new unit. In April, it is... Uh, I forget how you pronounce his name. I'll just call him Roma. I don't want to accidentally reveal too much about what who he actually is because some people might not actually know it, I guess. But I think that might be too late at this point. But also the ticket. That's the big thing in April. May, we got Voyager here along with Dino Mama. June. July. <laughs> July has comma. August. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the big one. August is, I think, where the everyone's been waiting for. Yeah, this is the big month. The fifth anniversary featuring the big unit that everyone's going to be saving for. This is the one I'm basically going to be saving most of the year for. It's Castoria. Artoria Castoria. Artoria Castor, my bad. Artoria Castoria. That's the reason why it's the combination of Castor and Artoria. That's why most people call her Castoria. But this is the new arts uh, support unit who is insane. 100% absolutely fucking insane. Uh, you, see, you can see here increase attack, party attack for three turns, charges NP gauge. 20% attack, 30% NP, nice. Uh, after, oh, wait, does it actually change? Okay, no, it just changes the name. Charges uh, one alley's NP gauge, increases party NP generation for three turns. That's the entire party. NP is 20%, NP rate is 30%. Very good, especially when you are an art supporter. Increase one alley's arts performance for three turns, increase their damage against threats to humanity enemies for three turns, grants them invincibility for one turn. 30%, 50% arts and 50% threat to humanity damage. And here's the crazy part she has this built in new mechanic who grants anti-purge defense buffer um, for end attacks three turns. Anti-purge defense nullifies pierce invulnerability and damage. This makes us, basically makes it so the only thing that can hurt you are abilities that absolutely remove buffs. That's the only way to get rid of this. And depending on your charge level, you either get one, two, three, four, five, and it lasts for three turns. She is absolutely 100% fucking insane. Almost everyone's going to be saving for her. So that's a good time to remember. Obviously, on our side, it's not actually going to be August, because I think on the more North American side, if we can go here, uh, I think our anniversary is July? Yes, so ours is July, so that's something to keep in mind. In... man, that's weird to think about, that we're full... Yeah, I've never actually thought about that before. Was that like that last year, where this was... Yeah, that's it's crazy. I've never actually realized it. This is maybe the biggest differentiator, differentiator before, between them because this one's August 10th to the 24th. And this one started July 3rd to the 14th. Let me see, is it always like that? Yeah, it's a little bit varies. It varies a little bit, but it's in the basic ballpark. But not only that, right after Castoria, one of the greatest units ever. Um, in the game they released this summer and summer has this Kiara who is arts and goes with that uh, Castoria. Oh my god. She is so fucking insane now I'm, I'm not gonna be like everyone else. I'm not gonna dump on Abby the fans of Abby have realized that uh, She needs a buff of some kind. They also really like Abby, which is why I don't really want to 
go too much for her. But of these two summon banners, unless you super care about what most people are going to care a lot about Tamoy, so that's why they're going to summon on here. But that's beside the point. A lot of people also really like Abby. And it's not just for the creepy reasons. This Kiara is fantastic. 100% um, worth summoning on. And that makes this month super fucking rough. It makes it really bad. It makes it very bad. After going through so many months of basically nothing, you finally have something to kind of go ham on. And it's absolutely one of the craziest. And it's going to be... Oh boy, it's going to be tough for me, for sure. Oh man, so remember, for us, it is going to be July. So July is going to be the big month. Next, let's look at September. Thankfully, not too much. 21 million download. Did anything big happen here that I can't remember? Let me see. Um, some quartz and stuff, so that's always good. So, that's more than a decent enough reason to do anything. This is the new Scafest. Scafest is what I'm going to be calling it. This is a lotto. Uh, I think, let me look at the lottery for this one. Some good stuff in here. You also get the most important thing, which is Bunny Skathatch. Skahawk, my bad. Um, and this is also a banner featuring her on it. So, pretty good. Especially if you want her. I still think she's really good. She also gets her buff around this time. I think she's still a fantastic uh, single target uh, Lancer unit. And especially with her buff, she's even more amazing. Here's the Gouda Gouda. Here's Gouda Gouda summoning campaign. This is the one that should introduce. I really like this girl. She's a good buster support, which becomes important later, but I, I like her design and everything, so I'm gonna kinda be going for her again. But yeah, so in the free to play banner, uh, the friend point gotcha, they add Oda Nobukatsu, and Nobukatsu is a limited friend point gotcha character, so you only have until this friend point to get him and only during the period it's very dumb that he's not permanent but he's only here for the gouda gouda so get him while you can is my basic assumption here i'm definitely going to be going for him christmas rerun Ooh, the imaginary scramble this actually is a pretty big month too i'd say just because this banner is so dumb i don't like the way they did it where the raid up servants are van gogh and nemo but you don't ever want to summon for just both of them because you would have a worse chance. So you have to actually wait. And someone who actually really likes Captain Nemo from the stories and books and also Van Gogh, uh, this is a rough one because you basically have to try and get two five stars at once who are brand new. Ugh. Ugh. This is what I have to say on that one and try. <laughs> and I think that's basically it because in December... Ooh, this is where they add. This is the next, the Lost Bell one. And I think this is the last big one for me personally. It is going for um, Ibuki Doji. And that's basically it. Funny enough, this is one of the very few years where there isn't. Oh, wait. New Year's. This is actually kind of important because this is the year that ends, but also the, the next year begins Muramasa which a lot of people really like and really want. I'm not one of them, so I don't have to worry about, but I should bring up uh, the most reason most people wouldn't be summoning for a Biki Doji is that this motherfucker is literally here a couple weeks later and is one of the best Saber AoE units in the entire game who is Arts, and they both fill the same role. But if someone who doesn't really care about that, I don't wanna, uh, you know. You know. Don't care. But anyway. Let me go back to the event list. So that's kind of the year. This is actually a pretty chill year. There's still definitely units worth going for. Like I said, Castoria is the big one. But it's not like this year, where this year it was like, as soon as like, um, as soon as she dropped, where the freak is she? Not here. Where, where am I even looking at? Um, what I was trying to say, it's not like this year where it was just like non-stop, like, oh my god, they're super Orion, and then, oh my god, a month beforehand, there was... Oh my god, but uh, two months before that was Saber Wars 2, and there was Space Ishtar, and then in the beginning there was Kama, and then if you're a big bad fan of Gil, oh my god, Gil's here. I feel like it's a much more chill year with a lot more planning out stuff. I think 21, 2021 might actually be a little bit more rougher year. But 
Yeah, I think with some enough planning, you should have a decent shot at some of the people you like. I think I can definitely see the months where I'm going to be skipping a whole bunch, where I'm just like, no real interest here. <laughs> I'm fine with skipping and kind of seeing where it goes. But the big one is definitely, yo, this is the big month. August for Japan, but July for us. It is anniversary leading into summer. Really rough. And it's going to be tough going for sure. I'm actually curious how much is going to change because this is also the year where a lot of Corona stuff happened. And so is 2021. And so far we've been in the realm of years without Corona. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, we can already see on the North American side some things change. So they're not afraid to switch up the releases of stuff. See, having Super Ryan come first and Atlantis and then having Christmas. So kind of curious what to see what they're going to do. But for the most part, it's a pretty simple year, I would say. Yeah, plenty of units worth going for, but for the most part, kind of chill out. But don't worry, some of the bigger important stuff I will remind you just because it's so important. Like I said, when that ticket is coming closer, I will for sure be doing... I'll make sure to tell you. I will be the one to tell you, yo, it is coming. Yo, Cthune is coming. All hands on deck. This is the big day. And I think, yeah, I think, let me see if I remember right. Just to be sure. When did we have our, it was in November. So let me see. Yeah, so we are on track to be going that direction, so. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, feel free to tell me what you're going to be planning for this year. Leave a like, comment, uh, fucking subscribe to me. There we go. I'm still suffering from that Christmas lull, so forgive me <laughs> if I'm a little bit hairy-headed. But that's it. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day and have a good night. Peace out.